This video is sponsored by BetUS. Follow my pinned Twitter post and my Instagram story for more details and use promo code JOIN125 to start betting your favorite sports. Samuel Hentwi is uh, going to meet Kona Walker. Kona Walker 10 one only one draw, three KOs. Pretty much tactical fighter, but a great tactician fighting out of uh, Wolverhampton. Vacant BBB OFC Midlands area welter title owner who outworked Levi Ferguson. He defeated uh, Jack Eubank. He was better than Nathan Bandon, Danny Lytle, and Venus Pupouskas. And only fought to draw once. Got to say that his tactical aspect of the game definitely rocks. And I really think that tactically, this guy is fighting uh, like he has. Tons of experience, like he has 15 years of experience. Now going to meet Samuel Antwi. 13, 1 0, 6 KOs, 5 foot 8. Samuel, true sensation, Antwi. Defeated Darren Tetley for vacant BBB OFC English Welter title. Now he'll be trying to defend it against Kona Walker. He outworked Alexander Zandon, Fernando Valencia, Sierra's goal, and also G. Smith. Yeah, he won some other titles, but he was unable to win World Boxing Federation Intercontinental Super Welter title where he lost to Emani Colombo. And uh, actually, I believe that he is a better fighter right now. I believe uh, that loss turned him into a better fighter because he started winning. Interestingly, yeah, he was fighting different guys and that's okay, but he started winning, he started outworking people. And Samuel Antwi now fights more tactically than he used to fight in the early stages of his career. He was aggressive, he was going for all or not in aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. But now not. Now he is very much tactical. And now he fights wisely. Wisely, technically. We don't see him rushing forward unless it's a clean situation. So I believe over 6.5 could be a good pick here as both fighters are fighting tactically very, very well. Some people might say this could lead to a boring fight, but tactical game plan is sometimes, uh, how to say, it can be entertaining to watch for guys like me, but I know the Die Hard fans, I'm a casual boxing fan, I'm not gonna lie to you. I know Die Hard fans are like, oh, they need to fight, they need to fight, but I see this as a very, very good tactical battle, so I'm going with over 6.5, and honestly, I don't know who's going to win. I think it's like 50-50 matchup, so that's going to be my pick.